Well, first of all, welcome, welcome to season three, episode one of the Honestly Speaking podcast, formerly known as Let Me Nourish You, the podcast. Okay. Woo. To all the listeners who have been here since season one or season two. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you for just listening to whatever it is I want to share. Thank you for those who have given me feedback. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to first give a shout out to God, Big G O T. You feel me? Always and forever. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to, um, I was about to say God again, so God again, but I want to give a shout out to my co-host Johnny. I'm so excited for us to record our first episode together. Um, yeah. So today I'm really just introducing myself, but we got to get into routine. So what we do is we take deep breaths. Okay. So wherever you are um if you're driving of course be careful but um wherever you are whatever you are doing we're gonna take a breath however you can so if you are able to sit comfortably if you're lying down um you can get in shavasana um If you're at work, I don't know where you are, but wherever you are, however you can take these few deep breaths with us, let's go ahead and do it, okay? So today, we're going to do box breathing because that's my favorite breathing technique. Like, probably like the first, like, it's top two and it ain't two, okay? But we're going to inhale for a count of four in through our nose. We're going to hold it for a count of four. We're going to exhale for a count of four through our nose. And then we're going to hold it. We're going to hold the end of our exhale for a count of four, okay? So, you can choose to, like, breathe out, to exhale through your mouth. But I want you to at least do two exhaling out of your um, nose. And then you can do two exhaling out of your mouth. All right, let's get it. So we're gonna breathe in, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. All right, two more times. Count at your own because I want to be able to breathe and I can barely breathe instructing that. All right, let's get it. Add one more cycle of breath. I said the wrong amount of breaths. I'm sorry, we're, we're doing four. All right, you can take a deep breath um, to, to complete that practice of breath. I'm proud of you. Give yourself a big hug. <laughs> All right, so. Yes, today I'm just reintroducing myself and um, that'll be about it. I'm not gonna take up too much time we're already going on five minutes um 
like I said in a blooper where I wasn't even recording with my podcast mic, I just wanted to say that I um, have noise in the background that I cannot control. You might hear the water right now. You might hear some clicking and clacking, but I pray that you can focus on my voice by the grace of God, okay? Oh, because God is good. <laughs> All right, so one one of the mottos is we don't do messy tea over here. We do healing tea. Let me nourish you is an intentional, accountable, affirmative healing community, a safe space. And you are welcomed here. Just promise yourself this one thing. I will work on authentically healing myself every day. We have raw conversations about everything, mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical health, our relationships with food, relationships, shadow work, sex, finances, creative expression, and the list goes on. Oh, and we do sports segments too, all right? And if you don't know, I have a new thing um, that's really been rebirthed from a project I started years ago, but it's called Scoring With Tea. You'll hear more of that on the podcast because both of my babies is collaborating. That's the X that you put, like, honestly speaking, X, Scoring With Tea. Um, and one more thing, we've already went over this, but we breathe here, all right? You are a nourisher, you are a flourisher, you are a sunflower. Let's grow, because that's what you do in my presence. You grow, all right? And if you're not ready, baby, you're going to have to take a step back, all right? So, um, yeah, so I'm tea, like a cup of tea. You may know me as other things, but um, you should already know how to respect me and address me when it comes to that. <laughs> and... What do I have in my notes? I'm Katie's mommy, y'all. So the last episode was posted um, July of last year, I believe. Make sure you check that out. It's on YouTube, and I will still be posting the throwback episodes because all my episodes were deleted um, on the like podcast distribution um, account. So I've been posting throwbacks, and... Um, I mean, of course, so much has changed within a year. Um, wow. I mean, I plan on discussing that throughout different episodes of this season, but um, I got pregnant last July. I was, I was sick, okay? Like, I didn't throw up, but I was sick. I was nauseous, like, every day. It just was not a healthy pregnancy to me. It just was not a healthy pregnancy. <laughs> and um, I went through like the roughest heartbreak, heartache ever, like the young man I wanted to spend the rest of my life with and evolve with. He didn't want me, y'all. <laughs> he wanted those other women. Yeah. But, <laughs> but no, thank God for deliverance. That relationship really helped me. Like the relationship throughout like its whole course from beginning to end and this past month and some change to be exact the past six weeks yes I put it on my calendar <laughs> but um I just I'm just I just been feeling like lighter in my mind and in my heart pertaining to the situation and I'm just so grateful so we'll talk about that a little more we'll talk about the miscarriage a little more um Yes, um, and I'm I'm just I'm in go mode right now. Um, damn, so much has happened. <laughs> we have so much to talk about. Um, mm. So yeah, I told y'all about scoring with T. Um, I've also been committing to my knitting so stay tuned for that because I have some drops I'm gonna have some releases prayfully um before the end of the year really in Q4 um if you don't know I do cleanses let me nourish you cleanses so I'm starting that back up in Q4 as well in October 
Um, we're going to have some journal challenges and a bunch of other things that I'll announce as I continue to get things in order and together, y'all. It's really a one woman show for real still. Like, of course, God. Um, so I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Like, I have that energy. I've done a lot of killing. I've done a lot of soul work, which soul work happens every day. But now God has given me the, um, per, has given me permission to execute. So I'm doing my best to take advantage of that because you never know when God going to sit your ass down, okay? Um, I wrote down some questions that I can, like, answer to give you a bit of more information. Um, yes, so Let Me Nourish You, the podcast, which is now, honestly speaking, was launched on February 2nd, um, 2022. Oh, we also have a playlist. We have an Honestly Speaking playlist. I'll link that in the description. It's also in the bio of my Instagram. Um, so I wrote down three questions that I'm going to answer. How did I end up here? Well, Let Me Nourish You started off in 2020 around like, it, I, I officially um, birthed Let Me Nourish You on Valentine's Day of 2020. Uh, that is such a memorable night. I actually have... Uh, photos and videos from that I have to put some stuff together because I mean part of the journey the beginning of the journey but um my whole mission was to cook vegan food like late night eats for artists and creatives that were in the studio because I lived in the city like I like actually lived in the city part of Atlanta and um you know, I, I lived around a lot of studios and like people are just going to Waffle House, Cookout, McDonald's and things like that. So I wanted to be able to provide nourishment for my creatives and my artists, especially because I was um, pursuing music still then. Um, I never it, that never really took off, took off or anything, but I sold a couple of plates to people. It never really touched down to like studios for real. But um I ain't sleeping on it. It'll probably happen someday because I would still love to provide that nourishment. Um, but however God sees fit. But that was the whole mission. Um, so I just started cooking vegan plates. I got a couple a uh, couple, couple plates sold. It was a cool experience. I love cooking for people. Um, and I mean, it wasn't, it was, it wasn't easy, especially like because just being so critical of like the art and like oh this doesn't taste good or doesn't taste good but being able to have those people who really actually enjoyed the food is just like amazing once again excuse the noise in the background I wish that my microphone right here I wish I had something right now to block out like to have noise cancellation in the background but I don't so anyways um then I just kept on rebranding and rebranding <laughs> um I also began doing, I call it spirit therapy, but I would do like readings. Um, I started that in 2020, I believe too. Um, and then, yeah, like I eventually I started posting yoga videos, which I'm still working on being consistent and better at, excuse me excuse me um and I have meditations up I'll link all that in the description and you can also once again find it in the link um in my bio on Instagram but yeah so and my favorite thing really is to have clients and I'm working on some other things um pertaining to like client work and things <laughs> so just be on the lookout for that um yeah, so it's just a holistic community. I'm very big on accountability, shadow work, being authentically you, being raw, and like fuck what anybody else has to say. You feel me? Um, Y'all, this past year, I have grown so much. Like things that I've been praying to grow into and 
things I've been praying to grow out of. I'm just so excited to discuss it with y'all. Um, but yeah. I don't know if I was all over the place, but I'm not going to keep this going. We're going on 20 minutes, which is the perfect cutoff time for me. Oh, yeah. I read. I read a page of a book. I flip to a page in a book. And I also want to read y'all, like, two Bible verses that I love, like, that are really helping with discipline. Um, One is don't fool yourself. Act on what you hear. Whoever catches a glimpse of the revealed counsel of God and sticks with it will find great delight. That comes from James 1, verse 22 through 25, the message version. And then the other one is, you know these things, now do them. That is the path of blessing, which is from John 13 and 17, the TLB version. I don't remember what that means, but yeah. So let's see, let's see. Where should I, where should I pull up? It's giving drama free. Drama free by Nidra Tawab. Excuse me if I butchered your name. I got the like butchered your name thing from this community I'm in. I like when they say that, so I'm gonna start saying that. Eh. But um, this is Drama Free, a guide to managing unhealthy family relationships. So we're just going to flip to a page and when I hear the word, relax your shoulders, girl. Okay. Mm. All right. Caught in the middle. Even family issues that have nothing to do with you can affect you. If your parents are at odds with their siblings, it can get in the way of your relationships with your aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents. But you can't force anyone to repair relationships. That's a word. You can't force anyone to repair relationships. Avery wanted to remain neutral, which had worked out fine as long as she didn't call on others to engage with one another. She had been able to secretly visit and communicate with her aunt and uncle on their turf, but her wedding was complicating matters. See, y'all not having that shit at my wedding. Oh, I'm going to do some ASMR real quick. (sighs) What might help Avery? One is being honest, even though it might upset some, Avery can be honest about wanting to maintain relationships with everyone despite their personal issues with each other. Setting boundaries. Avery can let everyone know that she won't be a container for their issues. That might sound like this to her father. Dad, I understand you're upset about being left out of the will. Aside from your issues with your siblings, I don't have any, and I want to see them from my point of view. To her aunts, uncles, and cousins, I want our relationship to be based on us, not the issues you have with the other people I love. Allowing people to choose. When Avery hosts events and some people might choose not to come in order to avoid other attendees. Excuse me. When Avery hosts events, some people might choose not to come in order to avoid other attendees. She can't control if they show up and will need to learn how to deal with the discomfort of everyone not getting along. Staying neutral. It isn't your job to manage family disputes or act as the family therapist. Can I say that again? (laughs) It isn't your job to manage family disputes or act as the family therapist. Perhaps your job is to let others know that you'll be a neutral party and you don't want to be a part of the drama. And this isn't just for family. This is for other relationships as well. So I don't know if who that will resonate with because that's very specific and it can be very triggering for those with, you know, family things. But um, I pray that it resonated with someone or, you know, and 
it you know gave you like food for thought but making sure i don't miss anything just i appreciate y'all for being here i'm about to take some cute pics and edit them a little bit see if i can get a nice little podcast thing going (laughs) i love you baby you know that i love you yes i do all right we out see y'all on uh see y'all on <laughs> see y'all on episode two we oh we do we are now um re- episodes now come out every tuesday and um yeah stay on the lookout for new episodes and throwback episodes Besos. see you in a buen dia